So I was having a conversation with someone about why I make engineering videos and why my videos target engineering students, engineers, or anybody interested in engineering. And the reality is that I'm not trying to push people to become engineers or to do the major just to get an engineering job. Like that's not really the goal. My goal is not to sell you that, oh, get an engineering job is great. But to me, if you're gonna go to college and spend money on a degree, you might as well choose a degree that's gonna rewire your brain to be a better problem solver and to be able to tackle things more analytically. And no major does that better than engineering. In other words, engineering out of all the college majors, in my opinion, has the highest return on investment in terms of money you spend compared to value you receive or skill set that you receive. And based on that, if when you major in engineering, when you study engineering, uh, you don't have to work as an engineer. You don't have to stick to engineering. You don't have to get a job as an engineer. But now that you wired your brain to solve problems and be able to isolate variables and be able to tell when there's changing conditions and identify the changing conditions and just analyze things logically and objectively, that's really what engineering teaches you to do. And sure, you could do it in the discipline of your choice. Like in my case, it's electrical engineering because I like electromagnetic waves and I like electromagnetic fields and, and, and waves and, 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 and antennas and these things I find exciting. So it is natural that I end up solving problems in these domains related to antennas and electromagnetic waves. But that does not have to be the case for you or anybody. You could get the degree and go do something else like start a business or apply to medical school or law school or you could get a job as an engineer since that's obviously like the primary reason why you probably got it. So this is something you'll see on my channel all the time is that I emphasize the fundamentals, not the tactics. I focus on skills. I don't focus on, oh, do this and you'll get this job. I'll say, build this skill and this is what this job wants. This job wants this skill. So then you increase the odds of getting that job. But the good news is even if you don't get that job, you have the skill in your brain forever, right? You just, you, you're stacking more skills in your skill toolbox and you're keeping that with you in your brain forever. And that's really valuable. I mean, if you like were to major in like history or, or, or some other major that is not as problem solving oriented, unlike, like if you're super interested in that, go for it. But if you're like me when I was in college and you were not quite sure what to do with your life, I would steer people to go for more something like engineering where you can actually gain real skills, problem solving skills. And as a byproduct of that, you can get a job that pays well. Um, or you could go start your own thing, join, join a startup or whatever. So this is really the value in engineering. Engineering is not just a job. It's not just a career. Engineering is a way of thinking. It's, it's, it's more than just a job, right? So this is one thing I want you to gain. And you'll see that repeatedly in my videos. I focus entirely on fundamentals. I ignore tactics. I ignore superficial things. I mean, once in a while I may mention like a tactic or two, but principles principles, principles, and the principles in engineering is how to solve problems, how to get good at solving problems, how to design good solutions, not which, which you can apply in your technical realm, but you can also apply in your personal life as well, like how you build relationships, how you pick your friends, um, how to decide when to move to a city, a new city or whatnot, and, and, and where you want to live within that city. And the biggest example of that is Jeff Bezos. So Jeff Bezos studied electrical engineering and computer science. And he got a job in electrical engineering, computer science and FinTech for a little bit. And eventually he started Amazon. And Amazon is one of the most like scientific startups. And, and a lot of the, the, if you read the letters to shareholders by Jeff Bezos, when he started Amazon, you could tell this is an engineer writing. This is someone who's very analytical, who's very science oriented, who was taking, doing a lot of experiments and accepting that many of them were, will fail for the hope that some will work out. And that's why Amazon became so innovative because at the top of Amazon sits an electrical engineer, electrical engineering, computer science with imagination and creativity. And same for Elon Musk. Elon Musk studied physics and he uses, he constantly emphasizes using the mental tools of physics to solve problems. And I, I actually am going to be making a video very soon about why um, SpaceX and Amazon are such efficient companies are probably a good place to work as an electrical engineer or engineer in general if what you care about is efficiency and things moving fast. So you should stay tuned for that. It may even be like somewhere over here.